Hello. In this video, Jose and I will be exploring some of the shortcomings in our software solution for the University Catalog Management System version 2.0. So right now I'm going to give you the shortcomings for the prospective catalog. What can be better on this subsystem for the project. So when we are creating a catalog, we are basically creating the data without seeing how currently is. So it would be really helpful to show a visualiza visualization of either a major, minor, certificate, track, or whatever you're editing or creating on the prospective catalog so you can see what is actually in it. So Another thing that can be better in the next version of the project is to give you a better view for the perspective part, make it look better basically. So and a third change that it would be needed to do is for example when we're either creating whatever major, minor or whatever you want to edit. It would be really helpful in these drop downs to show them as a color what what is in what it's already in the major or whatever you're editing. It would be really help to reduce the time of the creation of the prospective color. You don't have to go to the view and see what's already in it. So that's pretty much for the sub uh, prospective color subsystem. Okay, so this is the flowchart as it looks right now. The red defines groups, the green is defined sets, and the gray is right now defines courses. So as you can see, we have a clear definition between the groups, the sets, and the courses within the flowchart. Now, as you can probably tell, one of the shortcomings is currently the design. Now, bearing in mind, this is our ultimate goal to get to something that looks like this. As you see here, we have our whole track, we have our prerequisite group, we have our electives group, and then we have our database administration set, application development set, along with the courses inside those sets. So this is something that can be pretty easily done through CSS. So this design is pretty, very dynamic and can be changed very easily. Another shortcoming of the current flowchart visualization is when you're in at one level, for instance, we're at the track level right now, we only have the capability to move the next level down, therefore the groups. So we can move this group to any position we want in the track. However, if we wanted to alter, say, this set of courses, we couldn't do this directly on here. You see, it drags the whole group as one. We'd actually have to go and navigate down to the set level where the courses reside. And from here, now we can make our changes to the to the course set. So you know, I'm move, moving these courses around, changing the order. If I go and review the track again, this course order has changed. This concludes our video on the shortcomings of the added functionalities for the University Catalog Management System version 2.0. Thank you.